So hello again, it's Jimmy here at Riley's and today we've come to look at this white BMW, it's not starting, so let's go and have a look. So here we are inside, we'll uh, get this key, put it in and have a look at what's going on. Ignition comes up. Engine's turning so it's not a flat battery. You can hear the crank. in the case of uh, warning displays very annoying beeps from BMW brake warning there it's another exclamation mark and what else have we got is that it? So I think we'll plug in some diagnostics and see what we what we can find. Plug that in. Load up our diagnostic machine. We've just switched the ignition to on. Now we can do a diagnostic scan. Uh, here we just have some of the details of the car there. E87, so 116i. I was a little bit surprised it said 116i actually. When, he, when I cranked the engine, it, I thought it sounded like a diesel. But uh, yeah, we'll have a look underneath the bonnet in a minute now. We'll see what's, uh, what engine it's got. Yeah, we've got to do a scan there if you can see the screen. Actually, it's just finished. That was quick. And you can see there's a whole list of faults there, 10, one fault in there. So it seems like you might have some sort of electronics problem here on this, maybe the ECU, battery problem. You don't, you know, you don't get uh, 27 or 28 different faults or however many it is there altogether come up at all the same time. So fuel pressure, digital, electronics, crankshaft sensor. Gap fault crankshaft. Ooh. Right. Hopefully that's just uh, because of the bad battery or something. Camshaft, crankshaft, and there you got the battery. So yep, at least that's there, which gives you a bit more hope. Brake vacuum sensor. You know these crankshaft, camshaft sensor on a BMW is not a good sign. Uh, you're talking a lot of money there to get that sorted out, but we're going to clear all of these and put a battery booster on it and see if it makes any difference and uh, we'll press a quick erase so we'll get our battery booster on there if you come around the back there it is got the 116i badge and you can tell by the car here and the customer has told me he bought it as a non-runner from an auction about a year and a half ago and he's only just decided to have someone look at it right now got a lot of mold leaves etc so we're going to connect on our battery booster onto the light here and we can put the negative onto something like this metal bolt there you go and just down here you've got another point for your uh, curtain, this little bolt here, and we just connect it to that one, put that onto 12 volts, have a look back on our scan, see what fault we've got again after the clear, so we've got the access system which is going to be the alarm, immobilizer, and the engine, let's have a look, read codes, just give us a good idea of what's going on, as these are the only two faults that are present now. And you've got, uh, you know, numerous faults. Just uh, where do you start, basically? So you've got a brake vacuum sensor, which is not going to stop the car starting. So let's go back into the access system. And uh, 
like to see something in here is going to stop the car starting. Engine start, start or operation. Now we'll, uh, now the codes are cleared, I think we will uh, just probably give it another start, see what happens. Switch this off first. Switch it back on. I'm getting a little, little bit of, little bit of uh, bite there on the start. It's trying to start. There is the engine, it's a 116 petrol. If you've got numerous electrical faults, it's always worth checking inside the ECU box, which is in here on most BMWs of this era. It clips off. Um, yeah, we need to get in a little bit, a little bit more. It's worth just having a look to see if there's any water inside where the ECU box is. If there is, you're wasting your time trying to fix anything else. You can see in this case here, there is no water in there, so that's uh, fine to close back up. Okay, so we've opened the uh, fuel rail, and we can see that we are getting fuel. If we turn the ignition on, fuel's coming out. And we can hear the engine jump, stutter a little bit as it's trying to start, so we know it's sparking. So... Mm, it's a bit confusing on this one and now the starter uh, starter motor fault that was there that has cleared so that's disappeared now so all we're left with is the one fault let's go back in and have a look just got this one fault here and all the rest is clear Okay, so let's come back with some other ones again. These weren't here before. Exhaust camshaft sensor, brake vacuum sensor, crankshaft and camshaft synchronization. But they are absent again. Just a brake servo one that's constantly present. So we're going to clear these again. Um, just make sure that they don't come back again. Spend some more time on it. You can see there it's got the four faults. Uh, the reason we're going to clear them again is because obviously we cleared the faults before we put our booster pack on there. So we've got the boost pack on there now and clear the faults. And we should be just left with that, which what would you what would think is an irre irrelevant code for the brake vacuum. So let's go back. Out of there and see if we can try and start it again. Would you look at that? Start it up. A little bit jumpy. So all we've done there is clear the codes, we've opened the fuel pressure, the fuel rail. But this car has been standing for over a year and a half, so it would be difficult to start it anyway, even if there wasn't a fault. And this is where we're at. Present, we've got the camshaft, crankshaft correlations, and we'll have a look at the uh, cam chain. We've also got the engine light on there, even though the, the engine is running. If you could see that, it's had a brand new cam chain. Someone's just fitted one. And that's where we're at at this BMW. It's uh, got the camshaft, crankshaft, fold codes there. You can see, um, open the oil cap if you can see there. Someone's put a new uh, cam chain on it. A few weeks before this customer has bought the car, uh, he's got a receipt for it in the glove box. And you can see the chain's brand new. I uh, don't know if you can hear me speaking over the engine noise a minute ago, but the engine, the chain is brand new, but obviously there's been a problem, they haven't either fitted it right or needs looking at, but unfortunately for me being mobile, it's a little bit too much hassle, so I'd, I'm going to pass on that one and let him bring it somewhere else, or he says he might stick it 
back on a option and let the punters know exactly what the problem is. So he said. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So we're done on that one, and we'll see you on one of our next cars if we get a chance to uh, record it. We will see you next time.